I'm so excited. I just spotted a Le Creuset cookware box up on the top shelf. This is a really hard to find butter crock. It's $2.99 red tag, which means it's half off. And I just noticed one more thing that makes it even more valuable. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. I'm doing something just a little bit different this morning, arriving at Goodwill right as they open. I don't remember the last time I did this. I think it might have been uh, in Huntington Beach, California when I was staying with my parents uh, last, was it September? I usually go at closing time, at restocking time. So I'm very curious to see what it's like when it just opened. Will it be busy? Will it be slow? It's a Saturday but Saturdays are no longer their dollar days. They've switched the dollar of the week day to Monday. So it will be interesting. I'm almost um, at Goodwill, just about uh, half a mile down the street here. I will see you there. Still doing all kinds of construction here on the side. I'm really not sure what it's going to be. They're digging deep. It might be a gas station on the corner here because there's piles and piles of dirt, lots of pipes. Definitely something interesting. I'll have to ask my favorite checkout lady in Goodwill and see if she knows what it's going to be on the corner there. It doesn't look very busy. Lots of parking spaces. So uh, let me park and I'll see you in a minute. It's just after 10. Goodwill's only been open a few minutes. I'm hoping they restocked the shelves with some good treasure. Uh, let's take a look through the window for the color of the day. I think it's still gray. I'm all prepared with my trusty thrifting Vegas blanket. Let's go thrifting. Lots of carts to choose from. Let's grab this one. I'll pop my Thrifting Vegas blanket inside. There we go. The color of the day is still gray. Let's get back to the hard goods section and see what they have. I've had several comments and emails asking me what crazing is how it happens and if it's good or bad. When you look at a ceramic piece and you see a network of little spider web type lines all over it, that's crazing. It happens when a piece gets hot and then cold or it's in humidity and then it's dry. Whether it's good or bad is a matter of preference. Personally, I love a crazed piece. It gives it character, it gives it age, and for me, it adds value. Here we are, the candles are first. Let's see what we can find. It's a sweet little heart-shaped ring holder. With ring holders, I gravitate towards Nambe pieces. They seem to sell the best for me. That didn't fit on there, did it? <laughs> I'm still looking for my first glassy baby. This is an elusive brand for me. I haven't found one yet. Some baggies down here. Angels, floating candles. It's a big candlestick. Just a decorative piece. Is a cobalt blue 
ashtray or trinket dish. That's very lightweight. Looks like it was a molded piece, quite modern. We'll leave that. There's a pumpkin back here. I'm curious. Ooh, he almost looks like the Cheshire Cat. I think this is a project piece. <laughs> He's a little bit scary. <laughs> This is really delicate. It looks like a piece of lace sandwiched uh, between glass in a little trinket dish and it has a handmade sticker on that. That's really pretty. For 99 cents, we'll pop it in the cart. One of my subscribers emailed me and said her grandmother painted these two ceramic figures back in the day and if they were still there, would I get them for her? Here they are. They're going in the cart. She also mentioned that there was a little hanging outhouse that went with them. I'll keep an eye out for that too. Back behind those figures, I almost missed this lovely glass fruit trinket box. It says $7.99 on the bottom, but on the side it says $0.99. Cents. I'm going to check it over really carefully just to make sure there's nothing missing, no chips, no cracks. It's made in Poland and it looks like it's in perfect condition. Those candle pedestals are still here. Smiley monkey plate. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's a little dog cookie canister. A cornucopia lamp, some figurines and trinket dishes, wall hangings. There's a little bag here. Open this up and see what it is. I think it's a little pouch that you wear on your belt for traveling. Here's a clear glass soup cup with some possibly 24 karat gold trim. It has a lot of washware and no saucer, so I'll leave it. Here is the ceramic piece I keep looking at every time I come, but sadly it's so chipped, I'm still going to leave it. Some seasonal items and clear glass canisters and bowls. This is a pretty daffodil trinket dish. Pedestal cake stands and servers. It's a glass chess set. You don't see those very often. The fireplace tool stand. Here is an Indiana glass deviled egg dish. If this was any other color but clear, I might pick it up but the clear ones only worth 10 to $15. Ooh, look at this. This is an interesting piece. It's terracotta. It's marked Gourmet Top <laughs> USA 1980. I recognize this brand and I know pieces are listed quite highly on eBay. I'm not sure about the solds, but we'll pop it in the cart and have a look. More baggies up here. More ceramic pieces. Here is a Tower of Terror Twilight Zone mug. This is a good subject matter, so for 69 cents, we'll look that up on eBay and see if it's worth picking up. It's a very lightweight hot pad or trivet. Oh, look, some brand new reading glasses. 
I do like that blue. Perhaps I might take those for me. <laughs> Here's a box. It's empty though. More glass up here. I saw the other half of that candle holder down here. Unfortunately, the top has been severed off. I don't know if it actually broke or it came unglued. But let's pop that back up there with its piece. Hopefully someone can repair it. Look at the face on this dog. It's a dog cow. <laughs> We're in the seasonal bits. St. Patrick's Day and Easter. Oh, what's this? I see a birdhouse. It almost looks like a old fashioned bell pull. You'd pull on the whole piece of material and it was attached to a bell which would ring throughout the house. Oh, it actually says garden variety bell pull. It's $3.99 has a birdhouse and some bunnies on it for spring and Easter. I'm going to put it over here and then step back so you can see the whole thing. There we go. That's lovely. I really like that. Let's pop it in the cart. More bunnies. More baskets. Eggs. Ooh, what's this? These adult coloring books are really popular. This one's Wizard of Oz. I'm going to see if it's been used. Oh, it looks to be unused. It's $2.99. So let's pick that up too. There's a couple of glasses in here. They're quite modern. We skipped over to the baskets and the plaques and the shelves and the wood bits. Oh, look at this. It's a little model of a shop, like a souvenir shop. It's got real terracotta tiles on the roof. It's $2.99. And the little pieces that are displayed are real. There's a little straw hat and a bag and a crocheted purse. That's lovely. There's a basket with fabric handles. Oh, look at this. This is a wicker or rattan covered tea jar or possibly ginger jar. It looks quite vintage. I've sold these in the past and they sell really well. 40, 50, 60, up to $100 for the bigger ones. It has a vintage sticker on it. It's quite heavy. Let's get this into the cart. Let's keep going. Seeing some familiar things we've already seen. Lots of plaques and signs and letters. Shelves. Here are some carved gourds. These are fun. There's three. There's a person, some sort of animal. And at the back here, this one's almost like a fetish basket. It's got um, some feathers and beads and like a petroglyph design. Over here we have another plaque. This one's the Lord's Prayer. Oh goodness, I'm seeing some wood bowls. We'll have to come back to those. <laughs> a clock, more baskets, 
as a doll. Look at these bowls. I have a problem. <laughs> I can't find bowls that need restoration or help um, and not pick them up. I just can't leave these behind. I feel so sad knowing that eventually they will get uh, thrown away into the dump and I just have to pick them up and restore them with sandpaper and mineral oil and make them beautiful again. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that in a video so you all can see the process again. I did it with a big bowl and now we'll have the small bowls to match. It would make a lovely salad set. More shelves. Lots and lots of decorative items. Look at this set of three mounted tiles. They've been set into a green wood frame. With tiles, it's almost always about the artist. If you have a desirable artist, your tiles will sell. This particular set is by Lanka Wall Tiles. I'm not familiar with this brand, so what I'm going to do is pop it in the cart, look it up on eBay, and see if it's worth picking up. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid, and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. We are in the vases. There is a humongous one up top here. Lots of glass. Ooh, down here is a piece of lead crystal. I don't know if you can see through the viewer, but it's just so prismatic compared to the other pieces of glass here. That is just a lovely piece of lead crystal, perfect candy dish. It's $3.99, but red tags are half off, so it's only $2. We'll keep going into the colored glass, the planters. This looks like a piece of Lennox, but uh, judging by the weight, I don't think it is. It's 
interesting bottle. Oh, this is interesting too. It's ceramic with gold leaf. And the sticker on the bottom says Andrea Japan. I wonder if this is an early piece of Andrea by Sadik. And there is a bigger one on the shelf above. Look, what a lovely pair. A similar sticker, $1.99. Let's take both of those. They're absolutely gorgeous. A nesting pair in the cart. This looks like it could possibly be either Pier 1 or Crate and Barrel. But it's just a bit ordinary, nothing special about it. So we'll leave that. into the florals, silk plants. You know, I was looking for a purple vase, but this might be a bit small. No, I'm completely joking. This is absolutely huge. <laughs> and down here on the very bottom shelf is the biggest rose I have ever seen. Look at that. It has to be over three feet tall. <laughs> Let's pop it in the vase and see how it looks. It almost looks like a stage prop. That's amazing but I just wouldn't know what to do with it. Let's pop it back for someone who's looking for a massive red rose. We are in the metals and the wire, trays. This one's made in India. Everything you could possibly think of is here. It's an owl candle holder. He's fun. from racks and displays to sculptures, and candle holders. A sea of decorating possibilities. They just brought out a new cart of treasures and I spotted this stack of coasters in a holder. I think they're onyx. They're absolutely lovely. $4.99. Look at those. Let's pop those in the cart. 
here we are in the mugs having a quick browse through looking for brand names anything a little bit different speaking of which look at this <laughs> Budweiser mug it's in luck of the Irish this is just different enough to where I want to look it up on eBay and see what it sells for. Here's a little English saucer. Unfortunately, no little teacup in sight. the glasses I had so much interest in that lovely little Talavera shot glass I found last video so many people wanted it I was hoping there might be some more cart is now empty and we are here in everybody's favorite the kitcheny bits lots of sugar shakers canning jars little bowl sets Somebody has popped a baggie back on the shelf here and inside is a glass penguin. He's absolutely lovely. I'm just checking for any chips or cracks or damage, but he appears to be in lovely condition. The bag is $3.99, so let's get it. Lots of bowls, bakers. Here at the back here is a Lennox tray. Look at this. It's a vanity tray, the gold rim. And whoa, up here is a gumball machine. It is $10, but my son has been wanting one of these for ages. It's a bit dusty, but I'm sure that will clean up just right. Let's get that for Jake. Mustn't forget our Lennox tray. $3.99. I'm so excited. I just spotted a Le Creuset cookware box up on the top shelf. This is a really hard to find butter crock. It's $2.99 red tag, which means it's half off. And I just noticed one more thing that makes it even more valuable. The color spot on the box is teal blue, which means this is a very rare color. And here is another buttercrock. It's pottery and glazed, and I just love the robin's egg speckles. It's only 99 cents. Back here is a little vintage toothpick holder. Look how delicate this is. I'm guessing it's made in Japan and hand painted. It's only 69 cents. Don't forget to check the very top and very bottom shelves for treasures that others might miss. This is a pretty creamer, very lightweight. Oh, and here is its matching sugar pot. Let's move these coasters over and put them together. There we go. Here 
Here's another buttercrock. Somebody must have donated their collection. Lots and lots of pan lids. Cookware, kettles, travel mugs and bottles. All sorts of things that you didn't know you needed. <laughs> Here is a enamel cook pot. Parini. I'm not familiar familiar with that brand. I generally sell uh, Le Creuset, Staub. This is a new brand for me. Lots of little baggies of smalls. That tile is still here with the chipped corner. Some little spreaders. This looks like an Avon bottle. Silverware. I've had many comments and emails asking me if I discovered the artist who created that lovely charcoal piece I found last time we were here. It's by an artist called Sir Frank Brangwyn. It was created in 1910. Uh, I believe it's a lithograph, but it's absolutely stunning. It's called Man Resting. And uh, I am still researching. I believe it's a limited edition of a couple of hundred. And uh, with the help of one of my lovely subscribers who has been with me since the beginning of my channel. Thank you, Lucinda. You are the best. Uh, we are discovering lots about this little appreciated artist. Just a couple of vintage looking frames I want to check here. Sort of a, is that a sampler? Needlework stitchery and a vintage print there. Over here I'm seeing a piece of furniture that could be old and it could be made to look old. As I approach it, I think it's just made to look old. The surface is quite banged up. I'm checking the drawers for craftsmanship. There's no dovetails. I only want $70. Not a bad price if you need a dresser. Have a peek in the pet section. There's a hummingbird feeder and we will call it a day. Ziggy has found the box that all my treasures came home in. I popped the thrifting Vegas blanket inside and he has made himself at home and he's taking a nap. I'm trying something new today. I have everything I purchased on my granite in my bathroom. I was having a hard time finding a location with really good light, but I'm wondering if <laughs> this location has a little bit too much light. We'll see how it goes. And uh, if I feel like it's not working, we'll have to find a different location. Ziggy approves. He is taking a fast nap on the Thrifting Vegas blanket. First, we have this lovely ceramic pair. These are Arnell's pieces, and they would have been 
hand painted in either a class or at home. And the story behind it, if you heard during the video, one of my subscribers, their grandmother had painted this pair and it originally came with a third piece, an outhouse. And I believe her sister uh, inherited the three after the grandmother passed away. And uh, she asked me if I would look out for these and lo and behold, there they were on the shelf. So these I paid a dollar ninety nine for and they will go to my subscriber. I don't know whether she plans to repaint them herself. Um, I think that would be a really fun project. Next we have this gorgeous lace trinket dish. It's handmade. It appears to be lace sandwiched in two pieces of glass with a rubber seal that has a wall hanger so you could hang it on the wall. Handmade. I paid 99 cents for it and I'm going to ask $20. This is an antique toothpick holder. It's from Japan. It's marked Nippon, which tells me it was created for import from Japan between 1890 and 1921. Let me see if I can show you that. There we go. It's quite faint, but it's there. It does have a little bit of damage, a couple of cracks, and a little nick out of the edge there, but it is really beautifully done. Lovely painting with some gold trim. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. I almost missed this. It was sitting behind the two ceramic figures and it is a gorgeous glass is it a peach? It's a trinket jar marked made in Poland and uh, does have a few little flea bites around the glass edge from the lid being taken on and off. But it's a gorgeous piece. It was originally marked $8 and repriced at 99 cents. There's no damage to it. It's really lovely. The glass has a sort of a swirl in it. I don't know if you can see that. It really looks like a peach. As I say, it was 99 cents. And I am going to ask $25. This is a set of Onyx coasters. It's uh, a set of five in a holder. I'm wondering if there was originally six and one got broken or mislaid, but it's real stone. I don't know if you can see. It looks like little fossilized sea creatures and there is a quartz vein running through this one. They're all different, obviously, because they're natural stone. Absolutely lovely. I paid $4.99 for this. Oh, I'm just seeing now. Looks like there is a crack on the side. I hadn't noticed that before. Do you see that? Goodness. Perhaps I won't offer these for sale because of this crack. I would hate for the stone to break in shipping. See, does that go all the way through? Quite possibly. That is really a shame. Anywho. <laughs> Pretty coasters. Perhaps I will put them on my table. Can't see that crack unless you really 
inspect it closely in the night in the light over here we have a gorgeous native uh, or southwestern butterbell by the artist Jay Wells very sought-after artist she's very skilled Jean Wells this is a butterbell and what you do is you would put softened butter inside the cavity here and then you put a little bit of cold water in the jar portion and it sits on your counter like this the butter doesn't get wet because the water spreads out around it serving just to keep it cool enough and then on your counter you have spreadable butter without it being too soft on the counter or too hard straight out of the fridge it's a brilliant invention I paid a dollar ninety nine or actually 99 cents amazingly for this and Jean Wells works are quite sought after as I say I'm going to ask $45 on the same butterbell theme this was the star of my show <laughs> my best find it is a brand new in the box Le Creuset butterbell it works on the same principle softened butter in the cavity cold water to the fill line keeps your butter spreadable I paid a dollar fifty for this it was on red tag sale such a deal this color is Caribbean blue quite hard to find and uh, on eBay solds these have sold within the last three months between 60 and a hundred dollars back here we have a terracotta uh, divided appetizer dish or a chip and dip dish it's marked a gourmet top USA 1980 I paid 2.99 for it and I'm going to ask $20. was very excited to see this. It's a Chinese wicker covered ceramic jar. Definitely has some age to it. Price wise, these are all over the place online. There are some on eBay for 30 to 40 dollars and there's one identical to this on cherish c h a i r i s h which is a little bit of a higher end site for i believe it was 130 dollars it has its original sticker on the bottom made in china I paid $3.99 for it and I'm going to ask $45. Underneath all these items I have the bell pool that I found. It's spring and Easter theme, bird houses and bunnies and it would have been used or it's designed for use as a bell pull you hang it up attached to your bell in your house and then you pull on the entire thing and it rings the bell for you I paid $3.99 for it I'm going to ask $15 Back here is a pair of what I believe are vintage Andrea Visadic pieces. It's a sticker I haven't seen before. It's a swirly Andrea with an S through it, hand painted, made in Japan. Can you see that? And a number. Each has 
similar sticker. They are really nice ceramic with gold trim. I really like that there's a nesting matching set of two. I paid $1.99 and 99 cents and I'm going to ask $50 for the pair. Who remembers the Twilight Zone? This is a Disney mug. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. It has Mickey and Donald and Goofy up on the screen there. And uh, I believe it's marked Disney under the sticker. I paid 69 cents for it and I'm going to ask $15. This is a really fun little piece. It's a little store model with a terracotta roof. It has real little sizal or uh, yarn hats and baskets, a crochet little bag there. I think this is a rain stick. It's glazed wood, real tile roof. It's just a lovely piece, finished very professionally and carefully. I paid $2.99 for it and I'm going to ask $20. Back here we have a 24% lead crystal, hand cut made in Poland, beautiful biscuit jar, could also be used in the bathroom for cotton balls or cotton swabs. I paid $2 for it, red tag half off sale, and I'm going to ask $25. Here are the wooden bowls that I could not resist rescuing. There are five of them. They appear to be hand turned. They are really in need of some help, a good sand down, a good coat with mineral oil. I paid $3.99 for the stack and I'm excited to show you how they turn out. Here on my lovely Lennox tray I found is the contents of the baggie that was in the kitcheny bits. We have a couple of elephants. This one is, I believe it's onyx or marble, hand painted, trunk up for good luck. I'm going to ask $15. This is the sweetest little pair of elephants, mother and baby. Really nicely done. Again, $15. Here we have a lovely glass penguin. He's not Murano, he has some bubbles in him. As you can see, his bottom is not clear. It's quite cloudy and he's not precise. The work is not Murano quality. There's a a vein of dark here and his chest, if it were Murano, would be perfectly symmetrical. Nevertheless, he's lovely. Really nice piece and I'm going to ask $20 for him. We also have a few bits and bobs, odds and ends, a couple of napkin rings here, a couple of little place card holders or photograph note holders here, the Eiffel Tower and the Dragonfly. And this is a Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint Votive Candle. Bath and Body Works candles can sell quite well. And if anybody wants me to throw this in with their purchase, it would be $5. On that note, if you see anything you're interested in here, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com.
with your PayPal email, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and the price I quoted. I will send you an invoice and ship the item out to you. Oh, I almost forgot the Wizard of Oz coloring book. Adult coloring books are very, very popular at the moment. This one is the Wizard of Oz theme, it's similar to the books we had as children. Some lovely designs that you can color at your leisure. It's quite relaxing, very fun. I just thought with the subject matter Wizard of Oz, this would be quite desirable. Paid $2.99, I'm going to ask $15. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, Dewey. 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 Good boy. <laughs> Bear, sit. Bear. Good boy. Can you say sit? Can you say please? Sit. Please. Wait. Now he wants the frisbee. <sighs> you want the frisbee? <laughs>